Hey, what's going on? It's Jack Malaco for Beard Brand. Welcome to the third episode of Beard Breakdown, the show where we take a look at beards, break them down, and if you're not careful, you might just learn something. Last week we looked at the beards of music. This week we're going to take things a little bit smaller scale and look at this website that we're actually on right now, the Beards of YouTube. When I say the beards of YouTube, I don't mean channels like this one where it's all about beards. No, I'm talking about YouTubers that just happen to have beards. These are all popular guys in their own respects. So today on the chopping block, we've got five different YouTubers. We have Ethan Klein of H3H3, Ego Raptor, aka Aaron Hansen of Game Grumps, Rhett McLaughlin of Rhett and Link and Good Mythical Morning fame. Four, we're gonna take a look at Harley Morgenstein from Epic Mealtime fame. And finally, the biggest YouTuber of them all, PewDiePie at number five, okay? So the way this is gonna work is we're gonna pinpoint the style of beards that these guys have based on the pictures that I've found. Then I will give them a bit of style advice to help them take their beards to the next level. And finally, I will rank these beards from my least favorite to my absolute favorite at number one. So let's jump right into it. Papa Bless, let's talk about Ethan Klein of H3H3. He is sort of known for this patchy beard that he rocks. Now, if I had to put an absolute label on it, I'd call this scruff. He really just lets it go after a few days and doesn't really have any way or shape to it. And he's kind of known for that and he plays that up for a comedic effect. But today, we're gonna take a look at how we can actually sort of offer a bit of advice for Ethan to make that beard all that it can really be. Because on occasion, I've seen this thing look pretty decent. And I think with the proper care and the proper tools, he can take it to the next level, okay? So Ethan, if you are watching or if anyone wants to send this advice to Ethan, I'd say, man, what you wanna do is really add a bit of shape with a razor. You can keep it at scruff though. I wouldn't grow your beard any farther than the scruff that you have because when he does grow it out, he really, really emphasizes those patches. Now with a patchy beard, my advice to anyone is to keep it short. That way you can play it to the strengths of the beard. You can really see where the strongest parts are. Maybe it's the chin, maybe it's the mustache, maybe it's the chops. If you wanna grow out those pieces individually, go for it. But if you want the beard in the way that you think that a beard looks, keep it very short. Keep it, you know, maybe two to three weeks at most. And during that time, I want you to maybe keep an eye on the cheek lines and especially on the neckline. Now, this is one of the biggest ones for Ethan Klein because his growth is very, very similar to mine where it will just grow all the way down past the Adam's apple and almost connect into the chest hair. So always keep an eye on that, shaving that at least once a week, maybe twice a week so that you can really add a bit of structure. Make sure that you're not shaving all the way up to the, you know, the jaw, but two fingers above the Adam's apple will do you just fine. And that will really add a lot of structure. Now, if you want to add even more structure, you can really shape up those cheek lines going towards the mouth. Now, if I was going to recommend any products for Ethan, I'd immediately reach for beard oil. I don't necessarily think I'd re immediately recommend something like utility balm because we're going to keep Ethan's beard at a scruff. Anything shorter than a scruff or even at scruff, I don't know if Utility Balm is gonna do him a ton of favors. Obviously, he can use it on the rest of his face and on his skin and his hands, but in terms of just the beard itself, let's go for beard oil. So in terms of tools, on the other hand, I'd immediately reach for a boar hair brush because what that's gonna do is really help direct those hairs, especially when they're so short, you're really gonna notice each and every one of those. You're gonna brush it at least in a downwards angle or maybe even a little bit out. That'll make it so they're not all going in different directions and looking a little bit messy. So when you do keep it short like that, a Borsair brush over a comb is gonna do you a lot more favors, okay? Number two, let's talk about Aaron Hansen, AKA Ego Raptor of Game Grumps fame and flash animation of the past. I've been following this guy for years and the beard, relatively in the time that he's been on YouTube and on the internet in general, even going back to his Newgrounds days, is relatively a new thing for him. This style that he rocks is the Van Dyke. More recently, he's grown it a little bit more out on his jawline, but typically you see him rocking that traditional Van Dyke with the really grown out goatee and the bigger mustache. So overall, I do really like this beard, but again, there are times that I do see it grow out, especially on to the bottom of his jaw. Now, what I'd recommend for Aaron Hansen is that he takes the razor to that beard pretty frequently, just like with Ethan Klein, at least once to twice a week. If it's growing up at all onto the face, shave that off. If it continues to grow down onto the neck, shave that off too. Again, once or twice a week. Now in the mustache itself, 
Let's get a little bit fancy. He's got that mustache, even though it might be terminal, I really do like what he can do with it. So I introduce a little bit of mustache wax, especially if he wants to get it off the lips, he can pull it to the side and maybe, just maybe introduce some handlebars into that, all uh, Greg Brzezinski style, okay? This could look really nice for Ego Raptor style, especially if he wants to go a little bit fancy. I know he really likes to take great care of his hair. Obviously, he might want to go a bit further with the beard too. This overall may be a bit lofty for Aaron. I know he's kind of like me where the mustache doesn't grow out that much. So if we were to give him just one piece of advice, it would be to keep the Van Dyke intact, shave down those other parts of the beard and make sure that you absolutely emphasize the best parts of your beard and don't detract from it by letting that hair grow onto the neck and onto the jaw, okay? Number three, Rhett McLaughlin of Good Mythical Morning and Rhett and Link. This is a beardsman that I personally have taken a lot of inspiration from, all the way from my hair to my beard. We have somewhat similar growth patterns and more or less textures. I know the color of our beards and hair are different, but I do like to model myself a lot after what he does. Now, this is a guy that's trying out a lot of different beard styles. When it gets really long, I really dig that style. But more recently, it's been a bit shorter on the more recent episodes of Good Mythical Morning because it's a little bit unkempt, natural, okay? If he was to trim it up a little bit more, I'd classify that as a corporate beard. But because it's got those waves and a little bit of uh, mm, controlled chaos, let's call that a natural. Now, what we can do for this beard is obviously get a couple of tools going in there. I do like the overall unkemptness of it. it Reminds me a little bit of the way that uh, Eric Van Holtz has the, again, controlled chaos in his beard with those waves. But if we did want to offer something, maybe we'd go with either the Greg Brzezinski method of the blow dryer and round brush or the blow dryer or hair brush or blow dryer and comb. Any way you want to look at it, I think I'd incorporate a blow dryer into this beard. That's going to offer a little bit more structure and a little bit more shape as he blow dries it down. Look, makes it look a little bit thicker, even though this is a ridiculously thick beard. I think it's just going to make it look a little bit classier. Now, in terms of the mustache, when he does grow it out, I'd go sort of how I suggested for Ego Raptor, Aaron Hansen, get a little bit of mustache wax in there. I wanna see some handlebars in this beard. Now he could introduce a more natural curl with this mustache without any mustache wax using a bit of styling balm and that round brush and hair dryer technique. Again, there's that hair dryer. A lot of guys don't realize how useful a hair dryer can be when it comes to styling your beard. So if we were gonna do anything overall, again, this is a natural beard. I'd introduce that uh, round brush comb or boar's hair brush and the hair dryer to make things look a little bit longer, thicker, and more structured for Rhett. And then in the mustache, either mustache wax or styling balm. And then let's, uh, let's go ahead and put that styling balm in the beard too, just to really hold it in place. And then again, hair dryer and round brush in the mustache to offer a little bit of that curl. All right, that's Rhett McLaughlin in a nutshell. Number four, let's talk about Harley Morenstein. Mister, how do you shave a beard like a man? You don't. You don't shave your beard. He's from Epic Meal Time, and more recently, Harley plays. He's been in miniseries. He's sort of all over the internet, but what we all know him for, it's not only those excellent uh, roles he's been in, but that massive beard. Man, this is a thing to behold, and I almost feel a little bit intimidated even suggesting that he does anything with this beard. So in terms of style, this is absolutely a natural beard. Leaning towards yeard and maybe even creeping towards tweared, okay? I think he's one of those guys that just decided to put down the razor one day and just grow out his beard and say whatever happens, happens. He's got a very no BS kind of lifestyle and I dig that. So if I was gonna say anything that Harley should do for his beard, is put some product in it. And the only one I'd suggest for him is Utility Balm. We're not gonna mess with trying to add any sort of style to this beard. We're not gonna introduce any sort of major shape to it. We just wanna make sure that this thing stays healthy and stays full, okay? So Utility Balm, Harley, that is the only thing I suggest for your beard. If I was gonna suggest any fragrance for Harley, I'd say no fragrance. Let's go with Blank Slate. But if I had to, absolutely had to, give him any sort of fragrance, I'd say old money. Harley gives off this sort of, again, no BS kind of lifestyle and persona. So with old money, that's gonna only emphasize that sort of gruff and tough exterior, man. And maybe it's a little bit confusing, but I like that. I like that you kind of get close and you catch a scent of that really timeless fragrance of old money. So overall, for Harley Mordenstein's natural beard leaning towards yeard, I'd say one product alone, utility bomb. All right, now let's get into number five our final person on this list. 
Finally, we get to the king of YouTube, the most subscribed channel on the entire website, Mr. PewDiePie, all right? Now, this is the type of guy that's experimented all different types of beards, and the one I specifically am looking at is the big beard that he grew out when he had his hair dyed, okay? Now, there's a lot to talk about with this, but first, let's classify this again, just like Harley, is a natural beard, okay? Leaning a little bit towards a year, but not quite as long as that. So, now let's talk about ways that we can improve this beard specifically. First thing I do is take a look at that mustache. Now, he's got a very similar growth style to me, where it's really not in direct proportion to the rest of his beard. The rest of his beard grows out pretty strong. Mustache really didn't get the memo, and of course, it's got that mustache gap in the middle. So, first thing I'd reach for is a tube of mustache wax. You can use this just like chapstick really just sort of draw it over the mustache and make sure it's coming to the sides. Get it completely off the lip and by pushing it to the sides, you're really gonna make it look a lot thicker than it actually is. I wouldn't recommend any sort of trimming, no scissors, no clippers, none of that. By instead just using the mustache wax, you're gonna be able to make the mustache look as thick as it can be and a bit more in proportion to the beard. Now, because the mustache grows in a smaller proportion to the beard, I would keep the beard relatively short. Let's go more towards a corporate beard, but again, don't touch the mustache at all. That's gonna give a better overall look to the entire beard. If you let it grow out a lot longer, just like I did when I was going for my beard, it can look really unkempt and really just kind of bizarre having that smaller mustache mixed with a bigger, gigantic beard. It even goes a bit further because the hair is so straight. Because it does that, I'd maybe get into a boar's hair brush to make sure everything's nice and laying flat. Maybe get a hair dryer on there to make sure it's really laying flat against your face and not poofing out. But all in all, PewDiePie, at least in my opinion, would look much, much better if he was to continue to grow out his beard. I don't want him to shave it off completely, but just go for that corporate beard. Wax up that stash to the sides, keep all this nice and tight, and overall, I think it's gonna treat you a lot better for your image, okay? There we go. There is all five of our YouTubers that we're gonna look at today. Now let's get into the rankings. Remember, I do not want you to think in any way that these guys' beards are better or worse in any way past a fun little series method, okay? Don't compare yourself to others in real life. This, again, is just for the purposes of the series, and it's all in good fun. I like all of these YouTubers, and if they listen to my advice and watch this video, or if you offer this advice to them or whatever, it's on you, man. So anyway, let's just get into these rankings with number five being my least favorite, and number one being my absolute favorite. Number five, Ethan Klein of H3H3. Because the guy doesn't really let anything happen to his beard and just sort of grows it out and it gets that really patchy, unkempt look, he's gonna be my lowest and least favorite spot on this list. If he was to uh, rather introduce those chopped up necklines and keep everything nice and tight, introduce a little bit of beard oil, maybe I'd bump him up, but as of right now, at his current state, Ethan Klein, number five. Number four, Ego Raptor, AKA Aaron Hansen of Game Grumps. I did say that the Van Dyke that he rocks is one of my favorite styles, but because he lets it grow onto his neck and into his jawline, it's not my favorite style. If he was to have her shave that all up and leave just the uh, goatee and mustache, Maybe I'd like it a little bit better, but for right now, number four is Ego Raptor. Number three, PewDiePie. If he was to, like I said, introduce the corporate beard style into his overall beard, I'd like it a lot more, but because he sort of grows it out, lets that mustache just hang naturally, I'm getting horrible flashbacks to when I grew up my beard towards the tail end when it was getting a little bit mm, wild, man. So PewDiePie, number three, you might be the king of YouTube, but you're not the king of this list, okay? Number two, Rhett McLaughlin of Good Mythical Morning and Rhett and Link. I really like this beard. You can tell I'm biased towards this one because I model my own after his a little bit. Even my hairstyle comes from Rhett in some way or form. It's a great beard. It's very nice. It's very full. I like the colors in there. But uh, if he was to introduce that mustache wax and get a little bit of a curl going on, I think I'd like it even more. It might be number one on my list if he was to have those curls, but at the current rate that it is, Let's keep it at number two. And then finally, number one, my favorite on this list, you probably already know, it's Harley Morenstein from Epic Meal Time. Harley plays in a plenty of other things. 
This beard, man, is so dense and so full and so thick, there was really nothing I could even do in terms of offering him any style advice. The only thing I wanted him to do is make sure that that beard is healthy because overall, I wouldn't touch a thing on this beard. This is the type of beard I would love to have someday. Super full, no patches, and uh, overall, I really, really dig it, okay? So overall, those are five YouTubers that could take their beards to the next level. Guys, what do you think about this? Who did I miss? Who should I have talked about? What advice should I have offered to the five that were on this list? Obviously, maybe we'll dive into this a little bit more. There's plenty of beard specific channels on YouTube that I can maybe talk about in a future episode. Let me know if you'd like to see that. But other than all of that stuff, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and until I see you next time, hey, keep on growing. Thanks for watching this video. Beard Brand has launched a private community called The Alliance. It's for men who are looking to invest in themselves and who are looking to keep on growing. Click the link over there and come join us or stick around and watch some more awesome videos.